How do I control my audio or video? Controls for the music you're listening to or the videos that you're watching are easily accessed through the Control 4 interface. Let's turn on Netflix. Tap Watch and then tap Netflix. After selecting an audio or video device, the interface jumps to the device controls, where I can use the directional keys to browse through the Netflix menu, play and pause my movie, set the volume, and tap home to return to the main Netflix menu. Tap home to return to the room screen, and you will see the media bar has appeared, displaying what you're watching in this room, and provides the same device controls for volume, play, pause, and power off. If you wish to change the volume, you can use your finger to drag the slider up or down to the exact level that you'd like, or you can tap on the volume line above or below the current level to increase or decrease the volume. Included with the controls is Share Media, the icon of a house with a plus. We will take a look at it in the How Do I video titled Share Media to Other Rooms. Now, while you are watching your show in the living room, I want to listen to some music in the kitchen, where I have already favorited the ultimate cooking dinner playlist on Spotify. This time, as music begins playing, the interface takes us to Now Playing, where we see the album art, the cue, and my controls, including shuffle and repeat. Again, tap home to return to the room screen, where we see the media bar with the album art and the audio controls, including volume. If you wish to jump directly to a specific track in the playlist, the previous page would be more useful because it showed us the entire queue. Tap the album art to jump to Now Playing, where I can easily select any track in the queue. And the same for devices. Back in the living room, you can tap the Netflix logo to go to the device controls. And that's how to control your media and devices.